Okay guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to stress test your newly overclocked computer. As you can see, we've got four programs opened up. We've got OCCT and Prime95, which is going to be the stress testing. Uh, for the two monitoring programs, we've got Core Temp and CPUZ. Core Temp is the core temperature. CPUZ is the core voltage. Now, even though OCCT has got its own built-in monitoring software, I always run these at external programs because uh, they're really accurate so we can just monitor them on that rather than monitoring them on the OCCT. Now for the first stress test we are going to want to go on to CPU Limpack and we're going to want to turn the memory right down AVX compatible Limpack tick that box now the reason why we want to turn the memory down is at the minute we don't want to stress the memory at all. If we get any sort of instability then we know that it's nothing to do with the memory. Also you can go into the BIOS and turn your memory down. That way that you, you, you're 100% sure that any instability is not caused by the RAM itself. Now once you've started, which is the on button, you won't run this program for about half an hour for the initial period. Uh, the core temperature will obviously go up and same for your core voltage will go slightly up. Now if you're running an ivory bridge chip, they're okay for 90 degrees and above, but if you're going to run an everyday overclock, which are going to be 5-10 hours at a time, I wouldn't want you to exceed the 60 degrees, I'd have it below 60 or 60. Now for your core voltage, uh, I wouldn't go 1.35 for the ivory bridge, uh, as I say, you, you, you your CPU isn't going to last two minutes at all. Okay, now once you've ran this for half an hour, if you want to go into your BIOS and continually overclock, say for instance, turn your clock speed up until you get instability, then turn your voltage up, uh, and then so on and so on. Continually running this uh, until you do get instability. If you're then happy with your overclock, then run this for half an hour, and then back on, you go onto the Prime uh, 95. You want to go onto Options. You want to go on Torture Test. Uh, you can do a Custom, so you can turn your memory down, or you can just do a Blend, which is basically, as it says, uh, a bit of everything. Okay. Once you've done that for half an hour period, and everything's fine, and you've got no instabilities whatsoever, uh, what you want to do is run both of these programs for a bit longer. So, say for instance, OCT. OCCT for 3 hours, same for Prime 95. Now, a lot of overclockers will run theirs for 24 hours, but in my case, I've always found the 3 hour mark is perfect for me. Once you've run both of these for your desired time, what you then want to do is uh, run the most demanding game, especially like a CPU demanding game, which is like Armour 3. Uh, run that for a couple of hours. Uh, if you get no instability or no shutting down of the system, then you're ready to go. You, your overclock is perfect. Now, obviously, when you're running the stress tests, uh, your core your core temp is never really going go uh, to the same. So it's never really going. Say if your core temperature in the stress test is say 60 degrees, you're probably going to go about 50 degrees in the game because it never uses your full CPU. Uh, and a couple of things you should never really do your vCore auto voltage should never be on so basically you want to set your vCore voltage to manual uh, remember the 1.35 volts uh, maximum for the ivory bridge also really don't go above 60 degrees now also a thing to remember is do not copy somebody else's overclock settings every CPU is different if you've got basically five CPUs on the bench, every single one will overclock differently. So always use your own settings. Always find your own settings out. That's always the best. Turn your memory frequency down, which will obviously, as I said before, you'll know that any instability isn't caused by that. Uh, manually set your timing your memory timing. Now this isn't going to help at the minute but it'll, if it'll help with your overall overclock once this, this stability test has been done. You can go into your, your BIOS, uh, your timings are on basically on the side of the stick uh, and just input them manually. Okay also you want to change your vCore load line calibration 
to the high setting for example I've got a Z77 board which I can set mine to extreme that will just help with your uh, vCore voltage consistency ok guys any questions uh, just message me and I'll get back to you also all of these programs are free to use so no expense there I'll put the link in the bottom of the video uh, like comment subscribe cheers